Hey everybody, it's Kiwi Tom, and this should hopefully be the final grind of the game. So, we're going to do this grind, let's say, intelligently. And I just did the wrong thing, damn it. I didn't want to exit the shop. Uh, let's let's try again. Um, so we go to the card shop, and then we go to return to title. That's better. Yes, I do want to return to title. So, um, what we want to do is do a bit more grinding. But this time, the way we're going to do it is as follows. So if we go down here, um, we have unlocked Metal Mage. So Metal Mage has some really strong monsters, including Meteor Black, Black Dragon, that we can win with, you know, reasonable odds. It's something like uh, around 1%. <laughs> so I might have to do more than 100 battles, but whatever. There's a reasonable chance of winning more of those guys. But much more importantly, much more importantly, is facing Pegasus. So... Pegasus um, has two cards, well actually there's a few cards that I'm very interested in, but two of them in particular. Uh, one is called Megamorph. He has about a 3% chance of dropping it, and a Megamorph uh, powers up any monster by 1000 attack points. I'm going to need at least one Megamorph in order to beat the game, I think. Um, the other card is Dragon Capture Jar, has a 3% chance of, uh, of of coming out as well, and that can destroy, it will destroy any dragon on the field, so we can use that to get rid of the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon if one is summoned. Um, yes, and he has loads of other nice magic cards. But the problem is how you get the magic cards. And this is where, this is why I have in front of me a notebook full of numbers. Um, so um, let's let's have a look at the deck that we have. Uh, we sort by type. So obviously we have lots of dragons and lots of things we can fuse, lots of thunders, etc. Right? Uh, and then we have a few magics and we have two traps and we have some equips. Okay. Uh, in order to get the cards we want off Pegasus, we have to do what's called an A-Tech or an S-Tech. And um, to get those, you have to mainly be using magic and trap cards. You know, it's not just like raw power using super strong monsters and beating them by getting rid of all his life points. Ultimately, we do have to beat them by getting rid of all the life points. But um, yeah, so we're going to have to modify this deck quite a bit. Uh, the main thing is I want to use in each battle at least three trap cards so let's say uh let's say we get rid of dark hole for the moment okay uh, and let's sort by type here and uh, i can skip down by pressing one of the shoulder buttons where are traps okay we got magic so we got traps uh we have house of adhesive tape and we have bear trap i don't know if they're good enough 500 or below 1500 or below um we can try bear trap okay so now we have at least three trap cards but we probably want to put in even a fourth the other thing is i need to use at least one equip card and at least one pure magic card so i want to use at least one of these um so i kind of want to let's see what i can get rid of i need to have some monsters with high defense so at least labyrinth mage that's going to help and i have meteor black dragon because he he counts as high defense i think um uh, we need to do, let's see, we need to do at least 10 fusions per game. Um, let's see, yeah, okay, so if we can put in one more trap, it'd be great, otherwise we'd be waiting the whole damn game for trap cards. Um, we want to use at least one equip, so I think it'll be safe to get rid of one equip. Like, chances are we're going to win, right? Let's, let's say that out loud. Um... Uh, so let's just put in more traps. So I'll put in another. I'm gonna put in a house of adhesive tape, um, and I think that will do. We'll see how this goes. Um, so let's do a duel against them now, and I'm going to explain what I'm doing while I do it. And I'm probably going to fail the first time. One way to get S tech or A tech or whatever every time, pretty much, is by making sure um, that he loses all his life points. Uh, sorry, this is all his cards, sorry. So if you win by making him run out of cards, um, you're pretty much guaranteed to get an S-Tech or, or A-Tech. So uh, let's start off by putting a monster in defense. I need to have him attack at least two monsters in defense and lose life points. So he didn't attack that one. Um, let's, uh, let's place down a trap card. And we're going to continue. I also have to place at least one card face down. So that's another thing. So there's a lot of these arbitrary things I have to do, but I can explain why in a moment. Okay, now he's using fusions. Okay, still being a bit nervous. 
Uh, I'm going to place down a second trap, but I don't think he has anything weak enough for this trap card, so that's going to hurt a little bit uh, and go for my next turn. Um, so uh, while, while all this is ongoing, I'll explain how the game calculates what rank you get. Wish me luck on this explanation. Let's start. Let's start doing fusions. Uh, I have no ability to do fusions. Uh, let me put down. Let me put down. I don't know if this counts as a fire to do a fusion with that guy. Um, let me put this guy face down for now. We'll come back to that in a minute. I'll put it in defense mode. Um, so the way it works is when you start. Uh, a, 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 what? And my trap cards are useless because this is strong. Oh, I might lose. Man eating black shark. How many points? Oh no. <sighs> Alrighty then. Um. Well, anyway, let's fuse these two because that's all I can do. And let's attack. Well, that helps a little bit. If I lose that many life points, it also helps. Uh, we're going to go for Mercury, and we're going to uh, we're going to get rid of Money and Black Shark. Um, um, let's continue. Uh, so the way the way it works is you start off with fifty points, okay? And in order to get an A tech or A pow or S pow, which is mostly what I've been getting in the game, I need to end with eighty or ninety points. In order to get an A-Tech or S-Tech, I need to end with like below 20 or below 10 points. Uh, and that's 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 where the struggle is going to be. So like the question is, how do you get ne negative points? So positive points come from a lot of different things. Let's, uh, let's first, let's do this and, and start bringing up the fusions. So when you win the game, when you win, you just get plus two points, no matter what. Okay. Uh, and you also get points depending on how many turns it takes you to do the battle. Okay, so I'm going to uh, get rid of this strong monster here. So, like, if you do it within about four turns, you get 12 points. Uh, do I want to attack? Yes. Um, if you do it, the game in less than eight turns, you get plus eight points. And if you do it in nine turns or more, you get zero. So that also means in these battles, I'm going to have to do at least nine turns. And I haven't been counting. Uh, so I have to do at least nine turns so I don't get those positive points. I don't know what that trap card is, by the way. Ooh, there's Meteor Black Dragon. Uh, I can also, I don't know if I've shown this off on camera, but these two guys fuse together. Boom, Summon Skull. Um, so let's, uh, I don't know, let's, let's attack it, I guess. What's this? What I'm going to start doing is actually putting some of these monsters in defense mode and give him a chance to attack. Uh, let's see what happens. So, I need I need him to attack at least one monster in defense and lose. So I'm going to have to put some things face down in defense mode. I'm going to try this guy and put him in defense mode. And I might even put someone's skull in defense mode. Let's see what happens. So if you play, uh, sorry, if there's two, he destroyed all my monsters again. I'm going to lose unless. And I lose. Damn it. Estek uh, is going to be really hard <laughs> because of this. Oh, man. All right, let's, let's try again. But I may end up having to... I may end up having to do the Meadow Mage guy first. Let's try again. So if you only play... if you, I need him to attack at least two monsters in defense mode. That means I get minus 10 points. So that helps. I need to play at least one monster down, face down. If I place 11 monsters face down, I get minus four. Ooh, there's a nice trap. Um, so let's start off by putting down this trap card. So remember, I want him to use at least three. If he hits three trap cards, I get minus 16 points. So he's doing a fusion. Very good. So depending on how I play, the characters play differently. If I always go with the sort of high attack monsters, um, Perfect, so that's at least one. So what does that give me? That gives me minus eight points already. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to put down... This guy... I'm tempted to put him down face down in attack mode for now. Let's see what happens. Um, yeah, so anyway, I have a gigantic list of like doing how much of what 
gives you how many points. And in some cases it gives a positive points and I want to avoid those. Other cases it gives a negative points and I want to aim for those. Uh, I'm going to place down... I'm going to actually use this magic card. Um, so I want to use at least pure, one pure magic card and that gives me minus four points. Uh, yes, so let's go to the next turn. But I know I'm afraid of his Regeki card, which I also want to win by the way, but the odds are fairly low. Uh, let's play... Labyrinth Wall. Uh, let's at least... Let's not let him have too many attack monsters. Like, you know, so I can't lose all my life points in one go. Um, if I end the duel, Dragon Capture... Oh. And there goes Meteor Black Dragon. This is why you want Dragon Capture there. Oh, no. Um, Alright, let's place down this trap card. And see what happens next. Great. Well, is this monster below 2,000? Nope. I'm gonna need much better traps. Uh, I can't even make it make my guy. Um, for the sake of sanity, I guess the speedrunning community um, use a uh, a modded version of this game. So there are modded versions that when you beat a duelist, you don't win just one card. It actually makes you win a number of cards. So you can get mods that are like, you win five cards. Or there's mods where you win 15 cards. Um, so that just, you know, you still have, you're still against the odds. There's still luck involved and all that sort of stuff. But, um, man, you don't even have to take the damn trap card. Um, let's put you down like this. 1800, 1800. Well, he would lose, strictly speaking. So let's try that. Um, so, yeah, so what they do is in the grinding sessions when they face off against Pegasus, they only have to do this long thing once and they win 15 cards. And that's the end of it. Well, I'm definitely going to get a, an, a, a tech. But I don't know how good or bad it's going to be. A B tech, and I win Mystical Sheep number two. Great. So all that effort, and I got a B. But B is pretty close to A, but I need more trap cards to be activated. So, um, yeah. So what I might do at this point is actually face off against, like, maybe I'll face off against a Metal Mage for a while. Uh, oh, no, yeah, I've got, I've got you as well. I wonder what I can you. So I'm gonna I'm gonna face off against Metal Mage for a while. Hope I win some better trap cards, uh, and then later on I'll come back to Pegasus, and it'll all be on video. So I'll uh, I'll give you some highlights. Another Meteor Black Dragon. So now we have two of them. That's gonna help a little bit. Um, how many battles did that take? Not too many. 19 battle. Skull Knight. Skull Knight is gonna help a lot against the Dark guys. Um, Let's put him in. <laughs> See, you can win strong guys here. Skull Knight, 2650 attack. Curse of Dragon, that is not bad. Dark Magician, wow. Four, one. Millennium Shield. So then at least with two high defense monsters, we have a chance to get into two attacks in on Pegasus. Hey everybody, it's Cubic Tom. So today we're going to do something which is going to make our lives a lot easier for beating the game. We're going to S-Tech Pegasus, or Pegasus, or at least A-Tech him. Um, so I'm going to explain how to do that. I think I've learned how to do it in a way that's really, really consistent. Um, so let me show you what I've got in the deck. If we go over here. Um, so first and foremost, the deck is completely filled with, you know, the usual dragons and thunders. We want to be able to do at least 10 fusions in the duel. So there's lots of uh, dragons, thunders, and zombies, and a few other things to do fusions. Um, the other thing is we want to use at least three trap cards. I faced off against uh, Isis a number of times uh, to win traps. So we have uh, two widespread ruins, an invisible wire, and bear trap. You only have to get B, C, D rankings in order to win the, some of these cards off of Isis. So that was easy, but it was about 100 duels. Uh, you want to have at least one uh, pure magic card. So I've chosen mountain, but it can be whatever you want. Um, and we want to use at least one equip. Uh, however, I've decided to go for four equips. So if you use one equip, 
uh, you get minus four points. But if you use four equips, you get minus eight. Uh, and these are all Dragon Treasures and Bright Castle. I won these off, um, I think, Seto and Isis and a couple of others I can show you later. Um, and that's really it. The only other things you need then are cards which have either zero attack or zero defense. One with zero attack is preferable, but I also have a dragon zombie uh, for zero attack. I have two dragon zombies. Um, the reason why is we want bait for Pegasus to attack. Um, so let me take you through a duel and hopefully I'll get an A tech at least. Um, so um, I, in a previous video I showed that uh, this guy is hard. I lost a few times. The first time I tried to S tech or A tech him it went very badly. Because he has Regeki. Um, that, that's cool, I just won that. He has a, a card called Regeki, which can destroy all your monster cards, and he has a card called Harpy's Feather Duster, which destroys your trap cards. And that can kind of ruin your plan. So if, you, if you lose your trap cards and you can't get three traps uh, used, then you're kind of doomed. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is as many fusions as possible. So do the usual thing, make a Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon, and put a face down attack. Well, face up and attack. Um, so yeah, you go, you go here. Um, and we're going to basically be manipulating Pegasus to play the way we want him to play. Um, now, unless he draws some super strong card and I'm doomed at the start, we're going to be fine. Um, yes, yeah, so now let's uh, let's make another Twin Edge Thunder Dragon and put it next to him. So at the start of the duel, we're just going to be playing almost as normal. We're going to be making Twin Edge Thunder Dragons or putting down the strongest monster we have. And in each turn, we have to destroy every monster that he has. You cannot leave one sitting idle, okay? So, uh, and uh, we don't want to bring his life points down too much. Um, maybe, maybe the next two turns I'll attack him, but uh, we don't want to bring his life points down too much just yet. So let's make another twin headed. What I'm waiting for to appear in my hand are the trap cards. So I'm just going to keep on doing this routine until we have the trap cards. And as the trap cards appear, we're going to put them down. Um, I think it's safe to make them lose some life points now. So let's bring him down. I don't want the life points to go too low, um, and you'll see why a little bit later. Okay, uh, that's all I'm going to do for now. We want to leave him with a few thousand at the moment. And this is going to continue on like this. We just keep make him play defensively. Like, he doesn't want to have, you know, uh, direct life point attacks. Uh, Alright, we're going to have to do another fusion while we wait. So we put you down. Uh, I'll probably fast forward a little bit to this as we need to. Uh, this card might be attacked, but sure, it doesn't matter. Uh, I also want to lose life points, so it's important that uh, to, to get what we want, I need to have less than 7,000 life points. So it's okay if I get attacked, but let's just keep on going. Uh, in the meantime, we're also waiting for equip cards, and we're waiting for the pure magic card. So what have we got now? Man, still nothing. Well, I'm going to show you something. So I'm going to put this labyrinth wall face down in defense mode. Usually when you're trying to A-tech or S-tech, you want at least two times in the battle uh, for someone to attack a face down in defense mode card and lose so your card is strong so labyrinth wall and millennium shield are perfect for that but pegasus does not attack them uh, i assume the gimmick is that you know like in the anime he can see your cards so he does not attack that face down card so that that means you have to try to make up those you know otherwise you, you're losing out on minus 10 points from those two attacks so you have to, to make up for that somehow uh, i'm just going to replace you with the meteor v dragon uh, we're going to keep on going. Usually magic or traps would appear by now, but we can wait it out. It's no big deal. The strategy's still going to work. Um, so what happens is, yeah, if this guy, if you leave him with one monster card, then the next turn he's going to use either a Regeki to destroy all your um, all your monsters, Harpy Feather just to destroy any traps you have down, uh, or he's going to put down something like Fake Trap. Uh, man, of course when I'm doing the tutorial video, uh, everything goes a little bit wrong, but whatever. Uh, we can wait, maybe all the things I need are at the very end of the deck. Uh, which in fact would be a problem. So we need to have enough turns left for this guy to uh, uh, to, to use all use up all my trap cards. Um, uh, but sure, no big deal. If things go wrong, I can re-record, you'll never know anything. Um, have we got something yet? Ah, there we go. So now we can use this magic card. So we want to use at least one of these magic cards. Uh, that gives us minus four points. Uh, and then we have to destroy this. Never forget to destroy the card that's there. Uh, or you're going to lose a lot of progress. Okay, he's going to just play another thing. He's just going to keep on defending himself. As long as we keep on destroying the one card that he has. Uh, okay, at least we can do a fusion. Let's uh, fuse these two and replace you. 
Um, I haven't been counting the fusions, but I want at least 10. We need at least 10 fusions. That'll give us minus 8 points. Uh, and remember, our goal... Ooh, that was a bit close, but whatever. Um, our goal is to get, like, m below 20 points. You start off with 50, and when you win a duel, you get, like, 2 points. We want to have minus... Uh, we want to bring ourselves down to below 20 points. Okay, uh, we can do another fusion. Uh, and we can bump this guy away. So we, this is the first equip card. So now, well, this is the first equip card. It has, I've lost count. Uh, at least one equip card brings us to minus four points instead of plus two points. The other three ones are just to make up for the the, the defense issue. Uh, okay, but so far this is going well. We're not losing any cards. Everything is going fine. Uh, I'm just worried that the traps are at the very bottom of the deck. That's what we don't want because we need them to activate at least three of them. Okay. Wow, still nothing. I'm making another twin headed. Doesn't matter if we get rid of the equipped one. Um, so yeah, if if we play this way, he will play that way. That's uh, that's the whole point. Um, so I reckon you probably need a different play strategy for each of the characters, but for Pegasus, this is what works. Um, okay. What do we draw next? I really need to start seeing the trap cards now. Okay, there's the first one. So we're just going to play it. Uh, and we're going to build up three trap cards down there before we do the next part plan. Okay. We destroy that one. That's also why I put four in the deck. So it's a little bit less likely that um, uh, they're all they're all stuck on the bottom. Okay, well, we're getting very close to the end though. Okay, there's another equip. Um, let's get rid of more than one card at a time. Let's, let's equip you. The reason why Skull Knight is in the deck is that I have a kunai with chain and I was using him and equipping him with that uh, but since I want more dragon treasures um, uh, to make life a little bit easier. Okay. What have we got? Perfect, another trap. And destroy the monster. That locks. Um, so there is a small percentage chance, it's like a 0.5% chance that this guy will have a Meteor Bleed Dragon when you face him. Um, but anyway, that's pretty unlikely, so don't worry too much about it. Uh, is there anything I can do? Um, I suppose I can... Uh, no, I'll just put this guy down. I won't do any more fusions yet. I'll wait for another Thunder to appear. Oh, I'm a bit worried. It looks like the, 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 third, the last trap card I need is very close to the bottom of the deck. But as long as we have at least three turns left, we'll be fine. Because at any point, we can wipe out all his life points. We have more than enough power on the field. Uh, okay, we can at least do this and this. Uh, let's replace you. Uh, yes, I won a few Meteor Black Dragons. <laughs> uh, playing against Metal Mage. Uh, doing power wins against Me Metal Mage, you can win these guys. That happens fairly frequently. I think I faced them a hundred times, and now I have three. Uh, although the first one I won against uh, John O the second. Okay, maybe you can draw something strong enough to beat my my dragon. Nope. Okay, great. So there's another trap card, and that's good enough. So I'm going to put this guy in attack mode. I actually wish I could flip him over. Uh, worst case, I can just play the um, the other card, and it'll be face up in attack mode. Um, perfect, and now each turn he's going to attack that card and it's going to activate a trap card because he knows what it is. So that's one trap card down, uh, and that's it. Now we just now we're just waiting basically. So let's equip a card, let's equip you, and end our turn. And that's it. So he's going to again attack that card. So he's not going to play any magics or traps unless he has some something to defend him. Okay, that's the next one gone. Widespread room. It's important to have widespread room because he does have cards above 2,000 attack. Um, uh, let's uh, let's fuse these two maybe uh, and get rid of you. Yes. Okay. 
Um, now the thing is, I actually, after all three trap cards are gone, I still want him to attack the Labyrinth Wall. I want to have, um, oh hey, damn it, it's too strong. Well anyway, that's why we have, uh, we've left him with lots of life points. Okay, we'll do another quick. Uh, man, I hope he can still summon something weak enough. Um, 4,000, yeah, okay. So he's still alive, so we need we need to be able to do that. Um, let's hope he can summon something kind of weak and attack my other card. Now at this point he, he has no reason to bring out something strong, but... Oh, perfect, perfect. So the three traps are gone. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, now we just have to worry about getting my life point down a little bit further. Um, so I'm going to place you... Uh, actually, I'm going to place you face up in attack mode. Um, and I don't care... What attacks it as long as something attacks it and brings my life points down. Uh, I'm going to keep playing until I have no cards left in the deck, which is pretty soon. Uh, just to make sure I've used up all the equips and everything else. Perfect. Okay, so uh, now... Uh, oh, we have another trap. Uh, we don't get anything extra, to be honest, um, from having the one extra trap card. Uh, okay... Uh, and actually, because of this guy's strength, I'm going to have to beat him now. Um, because if I <laughs> if I leave him there, he's going to regeki all my cards next turn. Like, 100% certainty it's going to happen. Um, so I actually should have played a weaker monster. Which sure, it doesn't matter. I think we've got enough negative points that we're going to get the... Um, uh, we're going to get the A-Tech. Uh, please don't mess up. Because I haven't been adding up the points as we've been going along. Atec, perfect. And we want something terrible. We just want a wolf. But Atec um, and Estec are equivalent. They both give you the exact same set of cards. And amongst those cards are really powerful magic cards that we want. So while I was trying to learn how to manipulate Pegasus, uh, I'll just show you some of the cards that I want. Um, let's sort by type and go way down. Uh, so while facing him this way, uh, most recently in the kind of practice record session, um, I won Electro Whip, um, I have won Magical Labyrinth, which powers up Labyrinth Wall, makes it even stronger, and gives it a, some attack, as it'll have 500 attack. Have you ever seen a wall attack? Um, what else did I win? Uh, I won more Dragon Treasures, and I won two Rituals. Uh, I won <laughs> Hamburger Recipe, um, and I won uh, Yamadon Dragon. Um, rituals are interesting. The way they work is, so you can see here, sacrifices Beast Warrior, Dragon, and Pyro Monsters to summon Yamadron. So I need to have one of each of those type on the field. I play the, mag the ritual card, and it will remove those three cards and replace it with a Yamadron Dragon, who is not super strong, but whatever, it's over 2,000. Um, this doesn't even tell you what you want. <laughs> so... Uh, I have no idea what cards I need to sacrifice for this one. And there are a number of other ritual cards, and it's how you get some of the more unique monsters into your library. Um, what else? I think I won a... Did I win a Wise for Throwing Off Pegasus? I think those are all off Isis, to be honest. Um, yeah, oh, and I won Goblin Fan as well. So say if someone uses a card which can directly damage my life points, like Sparks or just some much stronger ones, uh, this reflects it back. Um... Uh, yeah, so that's it. So now I'm going to continue on doing this uh, ritual, <laughs> uh, uh, doing this um, this strategy uh, until I win uh, Megamorph. So Megamorph is a very powerful card that gives you uh, plus 1,000 on any monster. So it's kind of like Bright Castle. It powers up every monster, but gives plus 1,000. Uh, right, wish me luck. This is not editing fast forward, this is emulator fast forward. 